Hello, today is Thursday, December 5th, 2019, and welcome to HTV News. I'm Lila Castro. And I'm Vivian Garcia, and here's what's going on at HHS. Hoover High School is offering free tutoring for students on Mondays and Wednesdays. The sessions are conducted for students needing assistance with math and language arts. Sessions will begin in the Media Center on Mondays and Wednesdays from 2.45 to 4 p.m. If students would like to ride the bus home after tutoring, permission forms must be filled out and returned at least one day prior to tutoring sessions. Forms are located in the Media Center, the main office, guidance, and student services. When there is a bump in the road, a grief support group meets on Wednesday after school in, in the guidance department. If you have any questions, please feel free to stop in, to stop in guidance. The LGBTQ group will be meeting at the beginning of Power Hour this Wednesday. If you are interested in joining, please be in the auditorium at the start of Power Hour. If you have any questions, please feel free to come down to guidance. The Keith Love Annual Mitten Tree and Toy Drive has begun. Please put all items by the tree outside of the Media Center. Hobart High School is recycling. Please put only paper products in the blue recycling bins. Recycling will be picked up Wednesday mornings. Thanks for all of your help. A college football game in Indiana? Believe it or not, but it's true. It's happening at the Brickyard on Saturday, December 7th. Ohio Dominican University from the Great Midwest Athletic Conference will battle Truman State University from the Great Lakes Valley Conference in the first ever college bowl game to be held in the Hoosier State. The Student Credit Union wants you to enter the drawing for a Kindle 8 with a qualifying deposit. This promotion runs through December and the winner will be announced before spring break. It only takes $1 to open up a new savings account. Now over to Jonathan and Cameron for our sports updates. Congratulations to our junior Riley Johnson for being selected as a Northwest Indiana Time Athlete of the Week. The Brickies had a phenomenal season this past fall and Johnson's recognition is surely one of many awards to come over the next few weeks. The Lady Brickies doubled up this week with two contests on the schedule and hopefully more than one helping on Thanksgiving. On Tuesday, Hobart played host Lacrosse High School looking to continue their hot start to the season. Hobart tried time and again to rally against the taller Tiger players but never could put together consecutive possessions where the ball found the bottom of the net. A run to get it close never came and the Lady Brickies lost a tough game of 30 to 44. Saturday afternoon, our girls were back in, the, in action on the road against Calumet. Hoping to bounce back from Tuesday's loss at home, the ladies' brickies pulled through and got going to secure a 47-36 road victory. Junior Lexi Williams led all scores with 14 points, and senior Grace Nestich helped, added 13 to help the Lady Brickies stay undefeated on the road this year. Wrestling season is here. The Brickie Grapplers will open the 2019-2020 campaign, ranked 4th in the Northwest Indiana Times preseason pre poll and 10th in state. The first stop on the Bricky Road will be at Cent Lake Central High School for the Harvest Classic next Saturday. Hobart's swim season is also here on Saturday morning. The Hobart Brickies hosted Valparaiso in the first co-ed swimming and diving meet of the year. Coming off victories over Wheeler and Porter, the Lady Brickies were up against one of the top teams in all of the North on Saturday. Even with a lot of returning letter winners, experience in big meets is something that is always valuable and this was a big one. Back to you, Leela. Seniors, this is what you have been waiting for. We have been creating career newsletters that have, been tempor that have temporary and part-time jobs for high school students. There are many companies in Northwest Indiana that have full-time jobs for students once they graduate high school. We know that planning your future is very important to you, so together with the guidance department, we have composed a list of career-type jobs that we think you might be interested in. Many of them only require a high school diploma and pay way over minimum wage. The goal is to bring awareness of the many career opportunities available in our state. Now over to Madison for What's Happening HHS. Hello everyone, I'm your host Madison Santillan and here's what's currently happening on the internet. The new Black Widow trailer just dropped and people are already making theories about the movie, which is set to release May 1st in 2020. I know I'm excited for another Marvel movie. Dictionary.com has chosen the word existential as the word of the year, saying it speaks to the sense of grappling with our survival, both literally and figuratively. The famous internet cat Lil Bub has passed away. 
According to her owner, she passed away in her sleep on December 1st. Rest in peace, little bub. You've touched the hearts of many. On a more positive note, scientists found a frozen 18,000-year-old puppy in permafrost nearby Yakutsk, Russia. Miraculously, it has most of its fur, whiskers, all four legs, nose, and teeth. The specimen, which we now know was a two-month-old male, was named Dogor, a Yakutian word for friend. And finally, the world's biggest Starbucks has recently opened in Chicago. The establishment has five floors, including an outdoor rooftop, and spans 35,000 square feet. The very first customer showed up at 5 a.m. and came all the way from Detroit. Well, viewers, that's all of the internet news I have for you today. Back to you, Leela and Vivian. An important safety tip, please use the sidewalks on the north side of 10th Street. This means you should safely cross 10th Street to get to the sidewalk. When you must be on the non-sidewalk side of 10th, be sure to use the bike lane and watch for traffic. Community members are concerned and want to keep you safe, as do we. That's it for this edition of HTV News. Make sure to like and subscribe to the Hobart High School radio and TV channel. Remember, only the best for HHS and have a fantastic day, everyone.